What is up, guys? So for today's chart of the day, we have Rune. It was one of the most requested charts. I asked on my Twitter what you guys wanted me to chart, and this was one of the most commonly requested ones. So let's have a look. Uh, most people are looking for a buy zone on this. So if you have a look at Rune on a three-day chart, I've kind of outlined this area as a key area of interest, which is coming in at the $6.53 level. I'll zoom out just so you get a bit of perspective. It's kind of tracked a little bit of a diagonal trend line over here which has confluence with that horizontal however if you zoom out it is a coin that i would still be careful with because uh, from a macro standpoint it has been creating a series of lower highs throughout so you got that one and now you have another confirmed local high which came in this area over here so uh, any of these bounces will most likely be faded until the trend of course changes if you start clearing this level over over here at about 13 40 then you're talking about potentially creating a more macro uptrend so uh, your best case scenario is, is something like this create new highs and then off it goes uh, it's not something that i would necessarily bet on uh, just stay patient while you wait for your entries if it loses the 653 level the next level i'd be looking at is all the way down at 345 which is quite a distance still so it's not something that you need to fomo into yet that's another 54 percent down guys so just be careful let's have a look at it on the four hour chart to see if we have any confluence with those areas so first thing that i will note over here is again that 653 level which is this one over here that horizontal it comes in as a level of importance as well on the four hour chart and the daily so all of these wick highs this was a uh, previous resistance that flipped as support so have a look out for that area but again this is your first opportunity to catch a bounce you got it still another 13 percent down so i definitely wouldn't ape into this yet the other thing that you have to be cognizant of is again over here you have a death cross between the 50 and 200 ema which is taking place right now on the four hour charts these have quite a high hit rate so they generally hold you into moves for quite some time i mean i can give you an example of when the cross happened to the upside so essentially you have the purple crossing above the blue uh, you would have got in over here and from bottom to top that took you up 182 percent now that works both ways so you have to be careful if that goes to the downside what is that going to do to your portfolio the next area of interest after losing that 653 could take price anywhere between three dollars and 420 so uh, trade safely if you enjoy these short clips then make sure that you like and subscribe and i'll try and keep you guys up to date on twitter if rune does enter into the buy zone i'll make sure that i give you an update on that until then i'll see you guys on the next one